in one of my previous videos, I explained that the rapture of the living saints is described in chapter 6 of the Song of Songs. In this video, I am going to show you how the Song of Songs also provides details of the Battle of Armageddon. I will begin by quoting from the Song of Songs where we find the rapture being described. Song of Songs 6 verses 11 to 13 and I read, I went down to the grove of nut trees to look at the new growth in the valley to see if the vines had budded or the pomegranates were in bloom. Before I realized it, my desire set me among the royal chariots of my people. Come back, come back, O Shulamite. Come back, come back, that we may gaze on you. The previous passage describes the rapture taking place, during which the woman known as the Shulamite is instantly taken into the sky where she finds herself among God's royal chariots, just as Elijah did when he was also taken away from Elisha and carried into the sky in the chariot of fire. As I explained in my previous video, the people who remain on earth as the Shulamite rises into the sky are the ones who shout in shock and amazement that the Shulamite must come back. It is to be noted that the battle of Armageddon takes place after the rapture of the living Christians with the raptured believers being represented by the Shulamite woman. I will now provide the verse that describes the battle of Armageddon. I have quoted from both the NIV and the King James Version to help make the scripture easier to understand and to explain. Song of Songs 6 verse 13 NIV Come back, come back, O Shulamite. Come back, come back, that we may gaze on you. Why would you gaze on the Shulamite as on the dance of Mahanaim? Song of Songs 6 verse 13 from the KJV Return, return, O Shulamite. Return, return, that we may look upon thee. What will ye see in the Shulamite? As it were the company of two armies. Here we find an unidentified person asking those people who remain on earth why they would like to gaze on the raptured Shulamite as if they were two armies or as on the death of Mahanaim or two camps. This is a strange statement, and at first glance, it looks as if there is no connection between the rapture of the Shulamite and the death of some two camps or two armies. Fortunately, the Bible provides the connection and the explanation as always. I will begin by explaining how the name Mahanaim or two camps came about. The name originated from Jacob who met the angels of God at a certain place as he was returning to Canaan after spending 20 years living with his uncle Laban. I will quote from the book of Genesis. Genesis 32 verses 1 to 2 and I read, Jacob also went on his way and the angels of God met him. When Jacob saw them, he said, This is the camp of God. So he named the place Mahanaim. I return to the scripture which describes the battle of Armageddon so I can explain how this battle is the same event described as the dance of Mahanaim or the dance of two camps or two armies. Song of Songs 6 verse 13 and I read, Come back, come back, O Shulamite. Come back, come back, that we may gaze on you. Why would you gaze on the Shulamite as on the death of Mahanaim? In order to understand the strange passage, we rewind to an incident which occurred during the time of King David. In the story, Abner, who was the commander of Saul's army, took Ishbosheth, who was Saul's son, and brought him to a place called Mahanaim. Abner then made Ishbosheth king over some areas of Israel including Gilead and Jezreel. The new king ruled over these people for only two years, 
with the house of Judah or the Jews remaining loyal to David who ruled from Hebron. One day, some fighters belonging to Ishbosheth, son of Saul, met with fighters belonging to David at a place called Gibeon. The two groups of fighters sat down facing each other on opposite sides of a pool. Then Abner, the commander of Saul's army, said to Joab, the one leading David's army, let us have some of our young men get up and fight hand to hand in front of us. I will now quote directly from the scriptures. 2 Samuel 2 verses 15 to 16 and I read, So they stood up and were counted of twelve men for Benjamin and Ishbosheth, son of Saul, and twelve for David. Then each man grabbed his opponent by the head and thrust his dagger into his opponent's side and they fell down together. The type of fighting between the two camps is what the Song of Songs calls the dance of Mahanaim or the dance of two camps or the dance of two armies. This is the biblical equivalence of what people call mortal combat. This is a kind of fighting in which one man grabs his opponent and they fight hand to hand until both fall down together dead. The reason why this dance is mentioned in the Song of Songs is because this is the same type of fighting that will take place among the enemies of God when Jesus returns to fight the Antichrist and the kings of the earth and their armies at the battle of Armageddon. The book of Zechariah provides more details. Zechariah 14 verses 12 to 13 and I read, This is the plague with which the Lord will strike all the nations that fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh will rot while they are still standing on their feet. Their eyes will rot in their sockets and their tongues will rot in their mouths. On that day, People will be stricken by the Lord with great panic. They will seize each other by the hand and attack one another. This is what will happen to those whom the Antichrist will deceive. Those who will fight against Jerusalem with a view to wiping the Jews off the map. Instead of fighting against the Lord and his resurrected and raptured saints, the non-believers will actually fight against each other in total confusion. The same dance of the two camps is mentioned in the book of Haggai, where the prophet also writes about the event which will take place when the Lord Jesus returns. Haggai tells us that on that day, each man will fall by the sword of his brother, which is a reference to the dance of the two camps or the dance of Mahanaim. Haggai 2 verses 21 to 22 and I read, Tell Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, that I am going to shake the heavens and the earth. I will overturn royal thrones and shatter the power of the foreign kingdoms. I will overthrow chariots and their drivers. Horses and their riders will fall, each by the sword of his brother. Finally, I will court from the second book of Chronicles, where a type and shadow of the battle of Armageddon is recorded. In this story, a huge army from the Ammonites, the Moabites, and the Edomites came against King Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah or the Jews. When King Jehoshaphat saw the huge army, he cried out to the Lord for assistance because he knew that the Jews could not win the war without the intervention of God. After seeking God's guidance, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing praises to the Lord for the splendor of his holiness as they went into battle at the head of the army. While the singers were praising the God of heaven, the Lord caused confusion in the camp of the enemies of Israel such that they attacked and destroyed each other through the same dance of the two camps or the dance of Mahanaim. Here is what happened. As they began to sing and praise, 
the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were defeated. The Ammonites and Moabites rose up against the men from Mount Seir to destroy and annihilate them. After they finished slaughtering the men from Seir, they helped to destroy one another. Unfortunately for the Antichrist and his followers, the Lord of Heaven will do to them what he did to the armies that fought against King Jehoshaphat. The next scripture shows how God will deal with those people who will be foolish enough to worship the beast and to fight against God's own son and his holy people. Second Chronicles 20 verses 24 to 25 and I read, When the men of Judah came to the place that overlooks the desert and looked towards the vast army, they saw only dead bodies lying on the ground. No one had escaped. So Jehoshaphat and his men went to carry off their plunder and they found among them a great amount of equipment and clothing and also articles of value, more than they could take away. There was so much plunder that it took three days to collect it. This is what is meant by the death of Mahanaim or the death of two camps. As you can see, this death has nothing to do with Solomon's wife dancing before some spectators as I have read in some commentaries. What the Song of Songs caused the dance of the two camps is the famous Battle of Armageddon, the final battle between the Lord Jesus and the forces of darkness led by the Antichrist under the influence of the devil, as the book of Revelation explains. Revelation 16 verses 13 to 16, and I read, Then I saw three impure spirits, that looked like frogs. They came out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. They are demonic spirits that perform signs, and they go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle on the great day of God Almighty. Then they gathered the kings together to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. The kings of the earth and their armies will gather together at a place called Megiddo for the final battle which was prophesied by Deborah the prophetess long ago, proving that God declares the end from the beginning. The following is the prophecy about the battle of Armageddon which was given by the prophetess Deborah thousands of years ago. Judges 5 verses 19 to 21 and I read, Kings came, they fought. The kings of Canaan fought at Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. They took no plunder of silver. From the heavens, the stars fought. From their courses, they fought against Sisera. The river Kaishon swept them away. The edge old river, the river Kaishon. Indeed, the Lord Jesus Christ, the one whom Deborah calls the river Kaishon, will sweep away the kings of the world and their armies during the battle of Armageddon. Such are the mysteries of God's holy word.